This is the hour, the darkest place. Dante's inferno, the devil's maze. It's a good world. What is going on y'all captain jody by you bandit charters welcome back to the channel if you're new hit that subscribe button to be eligible for the drawing uh, when i reach 1500 subscribers we're going to do a drawing for a free flounder gigging or bow fishing charter and a hobo custom rod y'all chris guy with hobo custom rods has gave me a rod for the giveaway and uh man i'm pumped about that y'all uh, out here in Mississippi waters this afternoon, y'all. Waiting on it to get dark. The old sun's fixing to set here in a few minutes. Going to do something I have never, ever done before, y'all. Y'all check this out. This is a blowgun. And we are going to see if we can get a limit of redfish tonight. Maybe even a flounder if we see one. But, uh never used this before put it together the other day at the house and uh i'm pumped about it y'all uh if it goes well it may be something i add to the arsenal for the flounder gigging bow fishing charters and blowgun charters so we will see i'm excited i don't know i don't know if it's gonna work or not y'all but we're gonna find out just as soon as it gets dark Stay tuned. All right, y'all. It is almost dark enough to be able to see in the water good. Got my blowgun. Oh, man. This is going to be exciting, y'all. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to shoot redfish with it. Uh, we'll see. I have no idea. This will be the first time I have ever shot this thing in the water. So... We'll see. We got decent water. We got pretty much a high tide. Uh, water temperature is actually warmer, a lot warmer than I thought it would be. Uh, we're looking at 59 to 60 degree water temperature. So it's not, not out of the realm of possibility to possibly uh, see a flounder or two tonight, y'all. It's early. I know it's early but uh you know sometimes they come in a little bit earlier uh generally i like to see that water temperature get up around 63 64 degrees somewhere in that range for them to be in good but uh there there's been years they've came in early so but the main goal of tonight is to find a redfish see if we can shoot him with this blow gun and see if it'll stick in him see if we can fight him reel him and get him in the boat i don't know i've got my dip net just in case i don't know how good these uh darts is going to stick in them i'm new to all this y'all we're going to learn together what would be ideal is for one to be hit up in the grass not out in the open swimming if we can find one hemmed up in the grass We've got a lot better chance of being successful with this. The tide is in our favor. I like targeting redfish on a high tide. I want that water way up in that grass where those redfish can get in there hiding in that grass and feel protected. There's one. Oh! He was a long ways off. All right. They're not as strong as a bow. I've got to get closer. Or maybe I just missed him. I know I missed him. But maybe it would have been strong enough if I'd hit him. All right. There he is, y'all. Bell's open. Let's see if I can take a shot. 
Oh, did I get him? Nope. Missed him. I missed him. I don't know if it wasn't strong enough to penetrate. Or I just suck. I don't know. This is tough, y'all. And maybe I've got to get closer to the fish. Maybe that's what I need to do. That's what I'm going to try on the next one. I'm going to get as close to the fish as I can. Crap. There he goes. Oh, this is tough, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I'll figure it out. I have missed three redfish, a sheephead, and a flounder. In about 30 minutes. There's my chance, it's now or never. Crap. I believe I would actually starve to death and die if I had to use this. But I hadn't give up yet. They recommend no more than 40 pound braid. All I could find was 50. So I may try to find some 30 and put 30 pound braid on it and try it again. Maybe that heavier line is slowing it down just enough. I need to find a redfish up in the grass with his back almost out of the water. I think I'm trying shots that are too deep. I got a scale and he was deep. All right, I think I'm figuring it out now. All right, I think I figured out what I was doing wrong, y'all. You have really got to put some air behind this thing. I had a scale from that sheep head that time and he was deep. So, I think the next fish I see, I'll be able to get him. I should have got that flounder. Oh, it stuck in him. It stuck in him. Oh, it pulled out. Whew. I'm gonna pass out. Uh-huh. 
another good scale. Piece of crap. I feel like I'm gonna pass out if I keep on doing this. This ain't worth a crap. I have shot at so many fish and I have got one scale to show for it. What am I doing wrong? I'm definitely doing something wrong. Y'all comment, let me know. Anybody that has messed with these fish hawk blow guns this is the 50 caliber. What am I doing wrong? I'm pretty sure my line's too big. Am I trying to shoot fish in water that's too deep? I don't know. But this sucks. I mean, I'm really starting to get a little angry about it. I got a freaking headache. All right, there's me a sheep head. Easy bow shot. You piece of crap. Piece of crap. Did y'all see that red? I'm fixing to throw this thing in the bayou. What the crap? Fish everywhere. Fish gosh dang everywhere. He was up there on the grass, on dry gosh dang ground. I might have a chance. I'm fitting the chunkiest thing, y'all. I am fixing to chunk this piece of crap. Big red fish right there. <sighs> I, I, I didn't even have time to blow, and he gone. Fish everywhere, y'all. Doesn't seem a four man limit of redfish. Ain't got the first one. Supposed to be easy. Shoot the fish, reel him in. Let him rip drag. This is crap. I've got to be doing something wrong. Got to be. Got to be doing something wrong. Well guys, I was gonna make this part of the arsenal for the bow fishing charters. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I mean, you'll be waiting all night for a red to be just sitting there out of the water to maybe have a chance at hitting him. I don't know. What am I doing wrong? And I bought two of them, guys. Two of them. They ain't cheap either. Anybody want to buy them? Half price? I don't know what you do with it. Shoot frogs, maybe? I don't know. It ain't worth a crap at shooting fish. Just one fish. Let me shoot one 
fish with it. Where I can see how it's supposed to work. Just one. Not asking too much. It's one stinking fish. One stinking fish. Just one. I'll be good. That way I can say I shot a fish with it. Piece of crap. Piece of crap. Piece of crap. I'm shooting at one more fish. And that's it. I'm going home. I'm sure there's fish everywhere, y'all. This is a piece of crap. Maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe I'm doing something so completely wrong. I don't know. I got a headache. <coughs> About lost my breath. Trying to blow this stupid dart out of the end of this barrel. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard. You should aim, shoot the fish. It's impossible. Freaking impossible. Very, very disappointed, y'all. Very disappointing. All right, y'all. I'm disappointed. Thought this was going to be a good thing. Uh, it's not. It's a piece of crap. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe my line's way too heavy. I don't know. It's 50 pound braid. Uh, maybe I can try 20, 30. I don't want it to break when I, if I do shoot a redfish with it. I don't know, y'all. Considering this a fail, uh, maybe it was entertaining for y'all to watch me uh, almost pass out and trying to shoot stuff with this thing. But uh, I'm done. I'm going to the house. See y'all in the next one.